Virgo! I hope you guys are doing well. This will be a spread for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I am going to do a spread for you for 2023, but before that I did sit in your energy and I have a couple of channel messages for you. Your spirit guides want you to know that you have to give yourself more credit. You are so hardworking. You are a very loyal soul. Give yourself more credit. There's another thing. Uh, once I got in your energy, I got really cold. My hands are freezing and it's not cold in here. So you might be cold right now. Or you might be in a place where it's really cold. If that's the case, then this is a confirmation that this is your reading. I kept seeing in my mind's eye the letter B, as in boy. This might be of significance for you, okay? Your name might start with B, or you might be dealing with somebody. And their name starts with B. It's, I've seen a lot of flowers while I was meditating, all kinds of flowers, so flowers might be a very important element for you in 2023. You might want to surround yourself with flowers. And I also heard that for some of you, the job that you are in right now is no longer resonating with you. And you're encouraged, if you feel intuitively, that this is for you, you have to find a job that resonates, that a job where you find a lot of passion and happiness, okay? Life is too short. Okay, let's jump into your spread. I am using the Green Witch Tarot deck for you today. And I'm excited because I have my new camera set up. And I also, this is one of my favorite decks for you. So, I'm double excited. Let's see, Virgo, what did 2022 teach you? Yep. The High Priestess. To be more in tune with your emotional guidance, with your intuitive guidance, to understand your power, right? To give yourself more credit. For some of you, you like walking uh, during the evenings when the moon is out. I'm getting a Scorpio connection here. And I usually don't get this connection when I see this card. Okay, let's keep going, okay? We're going to clarify all this. What should you leave behind? Nine of Wands. It is an element of defending something maybe a little too much. Maybe you are defending the job that you are in and saying, oh no, it works for me after all. Maybe you are defending a person that hasn't been that loyal to you. You're a good friend, Virgo, okay? You know what it means to have friends. You know what it means to have close connections, but you have to look at the things that you might lose when a connection is lost. Are those things that you are going to lose worth holding on right now?
what to bring with you in 2023. Thank you. Queen of Swords, it can be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. See, as I uh, said before, there's a connection with flowers. Um, you might you might love to bring flowers into your home. Queen of Swords in this deck is not only it has a logical and practical side, but it has a very soft nature. And it has a very special connection with the sky, but also the earth, Mother Gaia. Interesting, Virgo. I like this very much. You are, a, you are an earth sign, and so seeing this kind of energy and feeling this kind of energy, it's not a surprise. What to focus on this year? Let's see. Let's move this a little. That. The Lord of Shadows, which is death here. It's okay, it's okay to let go of the friendships or of the connections that are just not offering you. They are not offering you anything. They're just taking. It's okay to let them go, okay? What to focus on this year on your side? Transformation, transformation of self. Transformation to the point of understanding that you deserve more. That you have to give yourself more credit, right? And that leaving things behind will only rush in new and exciting things. Okay, what will this year teach you? Whoops! <laughs> Page of Wands, to be a little more light-spirited, to understand that knowledge can come from different things, unexpected things. I like this youthful energy, and it suits you. Virgo, okay, because you are so, you have such an intellectual ability, okay, you all, you are always looking for more knowledge, for more information, but keep it youthful, okay, keep it fun. What is the overall thing for 2023? 2023, nine of pentacles, yeah, money's coming, okay. Money's coming. If uh, if you are thinking that okay, if I quit this job, then I'm going to have more problems than I have, then I wouldn't I wouldn't take on that energy. Okay. The overall theme of 2023 is that you are going to be wealthy. There's a self-contentment coming in here. I think you have to look at the small details in your life that really sparks your interest. It's okay to live to live the, the life that you envision, okay? It doesn't have to be grandiose. It doesn't have to be. All right, let's move on. What can you look for this year? The moon. The moon, uh, I feel like, can be very significant for you this year. You might want to spend more time um, in the evenings looking at the moon at night, okay? The moon will bring you a lot of gifts and abilities that you thought that they are lost. Or that you didn't even know you have. Water, it's an important element as well. Spend more time in water 
or around water, you are going to become more and more intuitive and more in touch with your nature. Love it. Let's clarify, okay? Is this what did 2022 teach you? Seven of Cups. Um, you know what answers lies within you. There's no need for illusions. There's no sign of confusion here something really important about yourself last year you are a magician okay this this gives me magician vibes this uh, card create what do you want to create okay put put in that uh, cauldron put in all the wishes and intentions and they will come through ten of swords No more stress, Queen of Wands and the Moon. Again, I'm getting Scorpio vibes, but I'm, there's also a Queen of Wands here, which is a fire sign, Leo, Aries, and Sag. <clears throat> yeah, I think you, you released a lot of baggage last year, and some people might have just left with your baggage too. <laughs> but... You've honed in this, this beautiful, intuitive energy that I'm getting right now. What should you leave behind? Let's see. Nine of Wands. Hmm. Nine of Wands again. Yeah. Don't hold on to things that are... That are just... Um, holding you like it's like hostage you know you are free you have free will and the fool is here telling you that you know drop that baggage whatever it is and soar take that leap of faith I'm getting a lot of flower um, energy here flower element that's coming through Alright, Queen of Swords, what to bring with you in 2023? I really like this Queen of Swords in this set. The Emperor might be dealing with an Aries, the Star, and King of Swords. What to bring with you in 2023? An Aries and an air sign might be important to you. Air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. There's been a completion here. The star tells me that you've accomplished and healed your self-worth here. <clears throat> Bring with you that peace that you found, you know, in, in the small things. And this, uh, these two energies. <clears throat> Let's see, the Lord of Shadows. What to focus on this year. Transfer, wow, okay, two of cups and death. Okay. Death again. I got chills, not a confirmation what I was about to say. <laughs> I'm getting very, very emotional right now. There's, there's somebody in your life that you really, you're holding on to it, yet this energy tells me that you have to let go. 
new beginnings need and want to come in your life in 2023. Let them. And strength, yes. You have the strength on your side. You are strong. You are perseverant. You are. You have the information. You are wise, Virgo. Listen to your intuition. Listen to that voice within. Okay, let's move on. Page of Wands. What will this year teach you? Eight of Pentacles. To trust. To trust in yourself, to understand that, wow, 9, 9, and 5. 9, it's a very supportive energy. I'm getting, I'm getting a sense of there's somebody in your life that needs your help. For some of you, it's emotional support, and for some of you, it's financial support. And you're struggling to let go. There's a lot of uh, challenges here. You have to put your happiness first. Okay? The Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups always do that. They know what makes them happy. And they will go after that. Okay? Nine of Pentacles. What is the overall thing for 2023? The chariot and the tower, there will be a lot of illumination coming through here. The chariot, it's an energy of action. It's an energy of accomplishment. Let the tower fall. That's what I heard. Let it fall. The moon, what can you look for this year? Justice. Wow, Ace of Swords and King of Pentacles to be an Earth sign here that will help you see through some illusions, okay? Somebody that's bringing you this clarity and truth. You might be dealing with a Libra or an Earth sign beside you, of course, Taurus and Capricorn. But I feel more so is that by allowing this, uh, this moon to speak to you, there will be a lot of information and intuitive, intuitive knowledge that will be reflected back to you. Spend time feeling the moon. Just allow. It's, it's an energy of allowance here, okay? An Ace of Cups, wow! You might find a love of your life while you're tra traveling somewhere, okay? I like this. Woo, there we go. Okay, let's get a couple of final cards from, this is the Sacred Traveler. If you enjoyed this reading, Virgo, I would love to know that it resonated with you. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell to know when I'm posting any new content. Alright, how to live your best life in 2023. Lie back, rest, and relax. Oh, yes, indeed. View from above. Get the big picture. In this relaxation state, okay, you are going to get a lot of information. No, you have no idea. Look at the sky, look at the stars, look at the moon. You're going to get a lot of information. View from above. Beautiful. Uncovering treasure. Mmm. Okay. And this deck is called the Spirit Animal Oracle. Let's see. How to live your best life in 2023, Virgo. Sun Rising and Venus. 
Inspire spirit. Make your dreams real. Go for it, Virgo. Make your dreams real. You got all the tools to make it happen. And sometimes life stings. Yeah. Sometimes you do have to make um, tough decisions that for a period of time it might bring you a lot of sadness. But what's most important is to live the life that makes you the most happy and to make your dreams real. Okay, Virgo? Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Ciao!